Hi, one of the things we're most often asked is, do we still use these? Tea chests. Of course, there's a tremendous romance to tea chests. Um, all of you are far too young to remember, but of course, uh, not so long ago, we used to use these every time we moved house. You know, the removal company would deliver a whole load of them and you'd pack everything up in newspaper and where it would go. Um, I'm really sorry to tell you that no, hardly ever used these days. Um, and there's a couple of very good reasons for it. And to be frank, I'm not even that sorry. Um, they were never that practical, um, except, of course, when they were being carried up planks um, by stevedores in the London dockyards um, when ships were still being unloaded by hand. Of course, that's stopped years and years ago. Tea nowadays comes like this. It's a paper sack, but it's not just a paper sack. In fact, Carlos, if you come in really close, we'll show that, in fact, you see, you see that there's three layers and the inside layer is silver foil so it keeps the tea in really good condition and really really dry um, and of course above all it can be put on a pallet so we'd normally get about 20 of those sacks on a pallet so that's about a ton of tea um, 50 kilos per sack 20 sacks a ton um, the weight per sack can go up to sort of 60 kilos for some of the dusts um, far far more more practical than you know getting 30 kilos or something in one of these um, there's another reason too apart from practicality which is that everyone's trying to use less wood in packaging and this is the so-called phytosanitary regulations and it basically means not having beetles coming into the country so everyone's trying to stop using wood uh, in packaging um, and even on pallets themselves of course the, the a lot of pallets are still made of wood, but those are treated, and even those are being got rid of now, and people are using slip sheets, which is just a piece of cardboard in place of a pallet, so no pallet at all. So, yep, sorry to tell you, not really using tea chests very much, but the, um, the sacks are, are pretty good at keeping the tea in good condition, and they are quite, quite a lot easier for us to use. So I hope that explains things. Thank you. Okay.